Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Today we are going to show you all of the best locations to get silica pearls in the official Crystal Isles map. Now usually to find silica pearls you have to do a lot of swimming through shark infested waters just to get a few handfuls of pearls, but this guide is going to show you some obscenely plentiful pearl locations and we're going to be able to get hundreds if not thousands of silica pearls in just a few minutes in very shallow safe water too. So this is going to be ridiculous ridiculously helpful for anyone who needs lots of silica pearls. We will also show you some great locations to find beaver dams, which will let you steal a couple hundred silica pearls at a time. And we'll show you some great locations to easily tame otters in the Crystal Isles map, which will gather stupid amounts of pearls just by hunting fish for you. Now I'll show you tons of amazing pearl locations all over the Crystal Isles map, so no matter where you live, you'll have some easy silica pearls you can get. And if you watch this video until the end, I'll show you an amazing place where you can get stupid amounts of pearls, crystal, metal, and obsidian, and lots and lots of oil, like unlimited oil. So be sure to watch this whole guide. It will be really helpful. I know it's going to be kind of long, so I'm going to give you guys chapters so you can skip to the locations you're most interested in. But I highly recommend watching all of it because there are so many amazing pearl locations that you probably never even thought you'd find pearls there. And if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up, share it on social media so your friends can be helped by it too, and be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have so many helpful Crystal Isles map, resource locations, base location guides, live streams, and let's plays coming your way, and you're not going to want to miss out on any of that. So let's go find Find some pearls. Now the first location I'll show you is probably the highest concentration of silica pearls on the entire Crystal Isles map. This little pond in the Cherry Blossom Forest is absolutely covered in silica pearls. I mean, this is going to be ridiculous. So take a look here. Every single sparkling dot here is a clam full of silica pearls. You can just walk right up and harvest those. And I mean, we're talking probably hundreds to thousands of silica pearls every minute it if you pop over to this pond and just start harvesting. They're all pretty shallow. You're not going to have to swim very deep. This pond is relatively safe. It's got uh, some carnos that will spawn around the edges, but for the most part, it's not that dangerous. And uh, with all these pearls, you can go pretty much anywhere on this pond and have a nice easy place to grab silica pearls. Here's the map and GPS coordinates. And you can also find wild otters to tame, which can also gather pearls for you. And there's actually lots of metal and crystal around here too. So we'll give you a bird's eye view so you can kind of see where that is, but uh, this is actually an amazing location to get silica pearls and probably the best place if you live somewhere near here. Now a lot of you probably live in the southwest side of the map in the White Shoals, and uh, this mountain in particular on the right side of my screen is actually where I've recommended a lot of you start your adventure. And part of that is because there are so many good resources right next to it. Now right next to that on the north there is this pillar and at the bottom of this pillar, you can see these big giant clams just sticking out of the water. And all around this spot are probably 20 to 30 different clam locations. And some of these, you don't even have to go into the water. They're actually on top of the water, and you can get tons of silica pearls right here. So once again, here is the map and GPS coordinates, and we are just to the north of that mountain. Now you might have to run past some crocodiles and sarcos in that spot. Some of these places have some relatively dangerous dinos, also a lot of baryonyx, and uh, the same applies to this location right here. There's this little tiny island, and it's right across from these little plateau islands and right almost attached to that mountain that I really like, and that's actually got a decent little speckling of pearls right there. There's four or five locations, and uh, here's the map and GPS for those, but the really great part is just across the bay here, and uh, you can actually head across that little natural bridge to get onto this section of this island. And right up there you've got those uh, three-tiered pillars there. And just on the edge of this you've got about 10 to 15 more pearl locations. And once again these are all pretty darn shallow. So you can get lots of silica pearls right here and you probably won't have too much problems with sharks because it's such shallow water. Now underneath the water on the bottom here it's actually pretty deep in this location. There's actually a lot more silica pearls here but you're going to have to compete with sharks so I highly recommend just sticking with the ones that are right there on the edge of the shore. 
Now this silica pearl location will probably come up in some of my other guides because I'll be doing some of the best metal location guides, best crystal locations, and things like that. But we're right here on the edge of the jungle and uh, we've got this cool little like lagoon here with an island in the middle. Now right over here you've got the shoreline and there is tons and tons of metal at this location right here. But I'm actually going to show you, believe it or not, there's a lot of pearls up this hill. Yeah, pearls up the hill inland. But check this out. There is a cool little cave right here. And this cave is completely full of crystal, like stupid amounts of crystal. But it's actually covered in pearls, too. So all of the water throughout this entire cave has got tons of silica pearls inside. And you can probably get about 30 silica pearls right here. And this is actually pretty far inland. And and uh, it attaches to the jungle from the other side of this cave. It's a pretty cool spot, and I'll probably be doing a lot more coverage on this tunnel later in my other guides, but uh, right here is the location of the entrance of this cave on this side, and the other entrance is actually inside the jungle. Now a lot of you are probably going to make your home in the sky in the new floating islands and this is a really awesome biome. I highly recommend checking it out. But uh, believe it or not, there's actually lots of pearls up in the air. So uh, we're here on this cool little cherry blossom island here. It's got a couple of waterfalls on either side. But uh, it actually has a bunch of silica pearls underneath the waterfall here. So there's probably about 15 to 20 pearl deposits. Uh, actually lots of metal and crystal under there too. And on top here, we actually have some wild otters that you can tame. Now, if you're not familiar with this ability, if you tame an otter, you can actually tell it to go attack and eat fish. And when it collects the fish, it will actually pick up pearls and have those in its inventory. So if you uh, send your otter to go kill a bunch of wild fish, and uh, these ponds are pretty safe places to do that, it'll actually get you tons of silica pearls that way too. And you can carry your otter to any body of water that has fish. And here's the location of this island, but most pools of water actually have silica pearls up here in the sky. Now I'll show you the location of this spot in just a minute, but we're heading underneath the waterfall next to these little orange crystals, and we can actually go through the waterfall into one of my absolute favorite, most beautiful locations, probably in all of Ark. Definitely my favorite location in the Crystal Isles map. And I'm probably going to build a pretty good sized base in here, but I'll have to be really careful because there's lots of good resources that I don't want to block. Now, uh, you've got this metal deposits over here. There's this cool waterfall back here. And at the base of the waterfall, there's a lot of crystal and a lot of silica pearls. There's probably about 10 silica pearl deposits right over here. And then if we follow this river further down, so there's the waterfall again. To the left, that's actually going to go down even further in these caves. We'll go past some of these ruins. And there's more pools of water down at the very bottom. And there's probably another 10 silica pearl deposits down here. Now, if you explore these caves, there are tons of metal, tons of crystal, tons of silica pearls just all over where there is water. But uh, it's just a really awesome location. So here's some of the actual map and GPS coordinates of these places where you can get the pearls. And I'll show you how to actually get into this cave now. So we're back here at the waterfall entrance, which uh, is a really cool, very well hidden entrance. As long as you uh, look for these big orange crystals right at this location, you can easily find it if you know it's here. But otherwise, you would never see it. So uh, it's right in this huge waterfall that's just below the big orange mountain. It's got lots of crystal up there. And uh, at the top of the waterfall, there's actually several more silica pearl deposits up here. So if you're looking for pearls and you live around here, you can just check out the top of this waterfall. Now you do have to be careful because there's some dangerous stuff that spawns around here, but uh, that's a lot of sparkling pearls you can see in the water. And here's the location of this spot right here. Now there is one more amazing pearl location that you actually probably, even if you've seen this spot, have not seen the pearls. So we're going to go over here into the ruins, and uh, here's the entrance to the ruins right here. There's actually an artifact in here, so uh, you know, might not want to be living in here, but this is a great place to pop in and grab some silica pearls. So we've got that dragon, we've got all these ruins over here, there's a lot of water, and there's actually caves underneath the water here that go back and there's lots of metal but a lot of people don't know about these little pools that actually have another probably 15 silica pearls so that's right over here right next to this dragon skeleton 
And believe it or not, there's even more pearls in here. So there's another little water location over here. But past that, if we jump into the water right here, there is not only tons of metal, but tons of silica pearls. So uh, there's probably another 30 silica pearls over here. You can just pop in here, swim down, grab all the pearls. I don't think there's any more back here, but there's actually lots of metal and rich metal back here in this cave. So it's a really awesome place to get lots of good resources. If you want to get silica pearls in one of the more extreme locations in the Crystal Isles map, this huge mountain in the snow biome actually has some really good silica pearls here too. A lot of people are probably going to live in the giant cave underneath this mountain, but in the top you have this pool and uh, you can't even see them from the surface because they are a little bit deeper. So let me dive into the water at this location. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, there we go. And uh, if we dive into this lake up here on top of this snow mountain, we're we're gonna get tons of silica pearls under the water so check that out there's silica pearls all over the place and uh, you could probably get a couple hundred silica pearl deposits just swimming around this pretty shallow lake and I don't see a lot of dangerous stuff up here but it's a little hard to get out so make sure you get an exit strategy before you dive in now at the mouth of the cave where a lot of people are going to live it's actually a great place to find beavers and I'll show you that in just a second but first, let's show you a good silica pearl location in the other extreme, next to the volcano. Now, if you live out here in the ember forest, you're probably not going to run into a whole lot of pearls, but uh, right at this spot, we're actually going to find a pretty good river that has quite a few silica pearls. Now, there's a nice little plateau up here. I showed you this in my base locations guide on the mod version, but uh, we actually still have several silica pearl deposits right up here in the middle of this plateau. And uh, this is actually a relatively safe plateau to live on and you've just got tons of silica pearls right here all the time right here in your base so that's a very helpful and it's also hard to find a good water source that's safe around here so hopefully that'll help you guys out if you're looking to live in the ember vale Now another great bonus pearl location is actually in beaver dams. If you're too lazy to gather pearls yourselves, let the beavers do it for you. Anywhere you find a beaver dam, you can actually loot that, just like a loot box, and uh, you can steal tons of silica pearls. They usually have about a hundred on a 1x server. And right next to that mountain that I really love in the southwest uh, White Shoals area, there's lots of beavers that spawn over here. Now we're right here by this swampy marsh, and uh, this little bay actually has some pretty dangerous stuff but if you wait long enough the beavers will probably kill all the deadly things down here and as you can see I've got three beaver dams right here and actually right across the bay there's another great spot to find beaver dams over here and if you run up there especially with a flyer and open the beaver dam all the beavers will come and try to kill you you can fly far enough away from the beavers or kill them and then you can just come back and loot the beaver dams at your leisure just make sure after you get all the pearls and cementing paste out of the beaver dam you dump all of the wood on the ground that way it'll collapse and it'll respawn again also underneath this little flat plateau sticking out of the water is a pretty good spot to grab some more silica pearls Now we were just in this location getting pearls from the lake on top of this mountain, but underneath the mountain is a huge cavern which makes a great base location, and the river leading up to it is covered in obsidian nodes and lots of beaver dams. So you get a lot of beavers down here, you can steal pearls and cementing paste from their beaver dams, and uh, there's actually a lot of obsidian nodes and lots of metal nodes too all across this river. So this is actually an excellent place to get tons of resources. And as you go into this cave, it's a massive cavern, and it's a really amazing place to have a huge tribe just living in this massive, massive open cavern. So I'll show you the location of this cave right here, but right outside is also a great place to get those beaver dams. Now this location is just sort of a bonus tip. This is actually inside the honey cave here in the Crystal Isles map. And uh, believe it or not, there's actually a really good pearl deposit way back in this cave. So you'll have to bring like a cryopod with a dolphin if you wanna come in from this entrance. And I'll show you the other entrance later. But there's actually a massive underground network of caves that goes way underwater and uh, goes for a very long ways, all the way from the bee cave down 
around the coast of the Crystal Isles. Now I'll show you a dolphin real quick. I'm going to spawn that in and I highly recommend if you are thinking of getting some silica pearls from this location, you use some Lazarus chowder or a scuba tank because you're not going to have enough air to make it through this whole cave. It's massive. So I'm going to take a dolphin and speed this up crazy fast because these caves are so long and so big. But if we go all the way back through these caves, we're going to run past a ton of pearls and uh, there's lots of clams, lots and lots of oil way down here. And uh, a lot of those giant clams too. Also an artifact right there. But this cave just keeps going forever. It's also pretty easy to get turned around as you're going through this massive underwater cave. So as crazy as this sounds, I think even though there's a lot of pearls under here, this is probably my absolute least favorite pearl location on the entire Crystal Isles map. So here is where we're getting out of this cave, and at the end of the cave, we're actually out here on the edge of the Redwoods, and there's the location of that. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff out here. There's actually an artifact way down at the bottom of the ocean, directly outside the mouth of this cave. But, uh, you know, if you're into this kind of thing and uh, you have a dolphin, this is actually not a bad place to get some silica pearls and a lot of other resources. So what better way to wrap up our pearl location guide for the official Crystal Isles map than to show you the absolute best place to get silica pearls and just about every other resource on the entire official Crystal Isles map. We are here in probably my favorite resource outpost uh, because this island has massive oil boulders. All of these little rocks are actually places you can put oil rigs all around this area. There are tons of obsidian deposits, metal deposits all around these lakes, but there's also lots of silica pearls lining the shore. I've noticed a lot of times on the Crystal Isles map, anywhere you see these little cherry blossoms floating on top of the water, there tends to be tons of silica pearls underneath. And look at that, I mean there are hundreds of silica pearls right here on the edge of this bay, and they're in knee deep water. There's also lots of beavers and beaver dams, so you can get some extra bonus hauls of hundreds of silica pearls just by looting those beaver dams. So here is the location. It's right here on the edge of the cherry blossom forest and on the edge of the tundra. It's a little bit chilly, a little bit dangerous dinos spawn up here, but check this out. Aside from lots of really rich metal nodes all up and down this river, there are stupid amounts of silica pearls. And if I head up to the right or left where these uh, little rivers branch off and there's lots of waterfalls, all the way up these waterfalls, there's still more silica pearls, and then the right and left side both end up in lakes completely covered in silica pearls. Now, the first location I showed you was actually the other side of that branch of the river, but uh, this side is just as full of silica pearls, so anywhere you go on this little river is just full of so many silica pearls, and that'll give you everything you need for the whole rest of the game. So check that out. That is the location right here of this lake. And if you go between these two lakes, you can probably get at least a couple thousand silica pearls in just maybe 10 minutes worth of swimming around. So that's it for our guide on where to get silica pearls in the Crystal Isles map official version. I hope this was super helpful for all of you, and I hope no matter where you live on the new Crystal Isles map, you'll have a lot of great places to get all the silica pearls you need for the rest of your game. If this guide helped you, please give it a thumbs up, share it on social media with your friends because it'll probably help them too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more helpful guides, tips, and tricks for the Crystal Isles coming your way, and also some live streams and let's plays that you won't want to miss. And until next time, I hope you have so much fun on this amazing new Crystal Isles map, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new Ark videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in Ark, but it is really hard to figure out 
out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Austin Nagel, Kelly Razjak, Black Silver Ride, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.